my symptoms were shortness of breath and just like the pressure around my chest that I'm assuming what it would feel like if an elephant was sitting on my chest. He was a, probably about a month away from the end of his life in a chair in the ICU attached to multiple pumps. I have congestive heart failure, and so the VAD actually operates as the left side of my heart and does all the work that it's supposed to do. Keith today is healthy, fabulous, raising his kids, being a basketball dad, and working. Our ventricular assist device program is a program that actually gives a second chance to patients that have a heart that is just too weak to sustain life. The secret sauce of our success is definitely the team. It's all about the communication that our team does, everything from pre-operation to post-operation to discharge and follow-up. All of our VAD patients are rounded on twice a day. The big team is in the morning, which is interdisciplinary, which is everybody that may touch this patient at some point in time in their care in the hospital is present in rounds. The list is big and it's a big team. But the idea is that everybody is listening to the same story and is caring for the patient in the same way. When patients come out of the OR, we've got a defined care plan that we kind of all know about and that we leverage and it's allowing us to get our patients out of the ICU in several days and then out of the hospital in under two weeks on average, which is about half the average length of stay for these patients. For the past four years, we've not had anybody readmitted at the 30-day mark, which is really unusual. We still have not had a death within the first 12 months of VAD implant and current mortality rates are 10, 15, 20 percent, depending on which study you look at in that timeline. I think those kinds of things are the things that we're really most proud of. The culture of innovation at Kaiser Permanente is strong and will continue to excel ahead of what is benchmarked in America and set new standards. They do a lot, they sacrifice a lot. The ICU nurses, just my team when I just go for my normal checkups, they saved my life. Like they've extended you know, my life. My kids are very thankful. We always strive to be the best and it's because we want the best for our patients. I mean, there's no other profession where you wake up and you have a 100% chance of helping somebody.